and the tortoise. Once upon a time, a rabbit named Woody lived in a forest with his friends. Woody would always gloat about how fast he could run to his friends. He was laughing at his friend, Mac, the tortoise, for being so slow. Do you ever get anywhere on time? He asked with a mocking laugh. Yes, replied Mac. I'll race you to prove it. Woody was amused by the idea of competing in a race with Mac, but he agreed. The umpire for the race was Michael, a fox. And, the race begins. Ready. Get set. Go. Woody raced way ahead of Mac, like everyone thought. He reached halfway and could not see Mac anywhere. He decided to take a short nap. If Mac passed him, he would be able to race to the finish line ahead of him. All this time, Mac kept walking, step by step. He never quit, no matter how hot or tired he got. He kept going. Woody slept longer than he expected. When he woke up, he could not see Mac anywhere. He rushed to the finish line and found Mac waiting for him. Woody had lost the race. The Ant and the Grasshopper Once upon a time, in a beautiful forest, there were an ant and a grasshopper, good friends. It was the time of summer, and the grasshopper was enjoying the fine weather and playing all day. Meanwhile, the ant and her family were working very hard every day to collect food for winter. He saw her friend ant and asked her, My friend, what are you doing in this fine weather? The ant said, I was gathering some food and was building a shelter for winter. The grasshopper laughed and teased her. This is spring now, it's the time to enjoy. But the ant ignored him and go to work. A few days later, winter came, and it started snowing. The whole jungle is covered in snow. There was no food available anywhere. So the helpless grasshopper came to the ant's shelter and pleaded. Oh dear ant, please give me shelter and something to eat. The ant replied. I'm sorry my friend, but my food is just enough for my family to last until the end of winter. If I give you more, we too will starve. We had the entire summer to prepare for the winter, but you chose to play instead. The grasshopper was very upset, when the ant offered him some food. Now, the grasshopper had understood why the ant was working so hard in the summer. The grasshopper had realized the value of hard work. The lion and the mouse. Once upon a time, there lived a lion and a mouse in the jungle. One day, the mouse came across the sleeping lion. Roused from his nap, the angry lion caught the tiny creature between his huge paws. The lion roared. Who dares disturb my sleep? Please let me go. Someday I will surely repay you. Begged the poor mouse. The lion was very amused that a tiny mouse could ever be of help to him. The lion roared in laughter and was so entertained that he decided to let the tiny mouse go. A few days later, the mouse was walking by when he heard the lion in misery. The lion had been caught in a hunter's nest. 
When he saw the mouse, he cried, please help me. The mouse quickly gnawed through the rope and set the lion free. The lion was overjoyed and thanked the mouse for this kindness. They became good friends. The Thirsty Crow <coughs> It was a hot summer's day. A thirsty crow flew into a village searching for some water to drink. After a long time, I think there is a pot of water. Under one of the trees on the farm was a pot of water. <coughs> the crow saw that there was very little water in the pot. The crow looked around. He saw some pebbles. An idea struck his mind. I can use these pebbles to bring the water up. He picked up the pebbles one by one and dropped them into the pot. As he dropped the pebbles into the pot, the water came up. Soon it was high enough for him to drink. He drank the water. Hmm, that was great. He flew away happily, Goldilocks and the three bears. Once upon a time, there were three bears who lived in a house of their own in the woods. One of them was a little, small bear. The second was a middle-sized mommy bear, and the third was a great, huge daddy bear. One day, they made porridge for their breakfast, and walked out into the foods to buy some fruits while their porridge was cooling down. On the other side of the woods, there was a little girl named Goldilocks, because of her thick golden hair. Goldilocks saw the bear's house and knocked on the door. Since nobody answered, she went in and asked, Hello, anybody home? Goldilocks saw the three bowls of porridge on the table. Her stomach growled as she was hungry. She tasted the porridge on the table. No, this big-sized porridge bowl is too hot. No, this medium-sized porridge is too cold. Wow, this small-sized porridge is just right. She liked it so much that she ate it all up. Goldilocks was tired now and she wanted to sleep. She looked for a bed and found three beds in a room upstairs. She lay down on all the beds one by one. No, the big bed is too hard. No, the medium bed is too soft. Yes, the small bed is just right. She covered herself up comfortably and fell fast asleep. Soon, the bears reached home and found their door open. Someone broke in. Exclaimed Daddy Bear. Someone ate all my porridge. Cried the baby bear. The three bears quickly went upstairs to their room. Somebody is lying in my bed. Look, there she is. Said the little small baby bear. Startled. Goldilocks jumped out of bed and ran downstairs, out of the door and down the garden path. She was never seen again. <laughs>